Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and today we're going to my rag house where I source my inventory. Uh, I actually have everything right here, so at the end of the video, we're going to go through a haul and take a look at it all. Uh, but I do want to shout out my guys over at defunct.com who sent me this super cool t shirt, Death Before Dry Rot. Uh, really, thank you for the t-shirt. Super dope. It's definitely going to be in my rotation. So, anyways, thank you so much. They are a big sponsor of the channel, so we really appreciate them. Now, let's go ahead and dive in and see what we found at the rag house. See what they got today. Oh. What did you say? It's a theater, not. <laughs> Wait, David. Hold on, that's pretty cool. I'm so mad at what's in the car room. It's going to take me a long time to get over that. Yeah. Mm. That's the old point like that. <laughs> This local crew. That's sick. Local crew tea. I said, I don't know. You guys are on drugs. There's a local crew. Dang, nice. I know. Jackie either crap. Oh yeah. Twice. Oh god, I broke the toe literally. I broke the plastic and it matters. Oh yeah, wow. You want this? It's got tags on it. I don't know if it's a dress or something. Or I don't know what that is, but it's just got the tags. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in here. What? Oh, you caught it? Did it almost fall out? Yeah. Hey, I'll get out your way. I have no idea what this is. 
I swear to God. That was too good of a shot. Untamed wilderness. This is super dope. Number three would be. Oh, I'll have her turn off. Like, what? Well, for my top three rangers, number three would go for the light ranger down thunder. Trent Mercer. Skill actor. If I choose if I choose three of them, that's this not is my favorite thing. I can tell just by the line, I can tell by the lines in the denim. You see how they they're striped kind of like this. That doesn't happen to old denim. They get textured like this, a little bit more like that. What do we got in here? Panhandle Slim, not vintage, but quite ornate. Might be something that you might want. Or I'd rather find out, huh? Uh, I know you don't want the stuff like that. Nope. Oh, you're already learning. Look at you. All right, so let's go ahead and dig into the stuff that I actually found. It was a pretty good two days of thrifting. I've been out of town, so we did not get uh, what would normally be a third day in thrifting. We got this America 911 tribute t-shirt, probably from the bulk box. We got a handful of these. You may have seen them, like, uh, like wildlife t-shirts. Uh, got this knit sweater. You guys know that I get those knit sweaters. If I sell them, I sell them individually, but also lock them up. We got another knit sweater. It's like a a wool. It feels like it might have been. I feel like it might have been washed. Kind of the knit's really really tight. Early 2000s Nike t-shirt, probably for the bulk box. More knit sweaters for the uh, probably for a lot. Hogs breath. Hogs Breath is better than No Breath at all. Long sleeve t-shirt with Hogs Breath on the side. Pretty cool t-shirt. Uh, probably for the bulk box though. Um, we've got the Carhartt and the Olive Green. Uh, this one's sick, dope. Uh, Carhartt always sells well, always a good, always a fan favorite, so love picking those up. A little bit distressing, but that's how everyone seems to like them. Uh, you'll see I've got a bunch of this stuff, a bunch of vintage kids clothes. I've been picking this stuff for uh, this stuff up for a while now. I lot it up so we get to about like 100 pieces or so, and then we auction it off. Um, I can get them cheap enough to where it's ultimately worth it. Uh, but it's always cool to see what we can find. All right, here are some really cool pieces. This is probably one of the better pieces in terms of value. Uh, it's, I think this is Farah. Uh, I think it's the brand Farah. The striped polyester bell bottom, real real big bells on here. Uh, gorgeous pair of of polyester pants. Um, the tags ripped off, so it's hard to exactly tell who it is, but I'm pretty sure that F is Farah. Um, it's got a, let's see, Talon 42 tag, so very much a 70, or Talon 42 zipper. Very much a 70s piece. That's probably the more valuable piece of everything we got here. This is the Kingsfield polyester striped pants with the flare. Uh, very 70s. This stuff has been, the 70s sort of flare 
like polyester pan has done a well better than way better than it has in the in the past few years this is one of a several panhandle slim western shirts just with the uh rooster on there really ornate these aren't vintage but uh there's one more here that's even more ornate than that one vintage ll bean made in uh, england wool sweater probably for a bulk sweater sale more of that wild those vintage wildlife t-shirts probably bulk those up too we got the tourist tee uh, canada lake louis canada probably both parts here's that other panhandle slim that's pretty wild look it's got like gold like that's crazy uh, i got the cow skulls in gold talk about ornate western shirts pretty wild there that one should be do well we got the vintage probably 70s dickies polyester pant I, these aren't flared or anything like that but those should do pretty well i don't know we have the paris blues women's these are flares i think uh, let's see i don't think they're flares yeah they're not probably well they might be boot cut well, it might be straight anyway and anyway, we got the Paris Blues, women's jeans, pick those up. Probably, this might end up in a bulk sale too. We got this jacket. Let me know if you know anything about this brand. I haven't looked it up yet, but it's Bogner. Here's the inside. Bogner. Um, it's pretty cool. I just don't know anything about it. Bogner's got bees all over the place. Bogner, it's like some sort of like, maybe a ski jacket of some sort. Uh, let me know if it's worth anything. We got the bootleg Nike Air. Definitely bootleg. Um, but still pretty cool. Pick that up. Men's polo chinos. Those should do pretty good. Not polo chino as in the, the, the line. Polo chino line. But chino shorts. Oh, another wildlife. This is the, that wildlife. Uh, you know. Bunch of wildlife t-shirts I found. We got the Aerosmith. You're going to put what where? Local crew t-shirt 2002. That's pretty cool. There's one more local crew t-shirt. I think it's right here. Yeah, this one is KISS 2003 local crew. Oh, Aerosmith and KISS. So somebody who worked as a local crew got that t-shirt. Love picking those up. Those are pretty cool. Here is a bunch of the baby clothes, vintage baby clothes. Um, probably got like 25, 25 pieces there. X-Men X2 t-shirt. I've sold that t-shirt a million times it feels like more uh vintage kids clothes probably from 80s and 90s uh, those will get lotted up like i said before i don't know really pick stuff like this up but i know it's a more like a a little bit of a higher end brand with the as os i don't know if you say that As asos or something like that but lux women's um skirt new with tags so figure that it's a decent buy um, let's see what else we got here. We have this really cool history of aviation t-shirt, like all of our print t-shirt, vintage t-shirt. It's pretty dope. We have this polo Ralph Lauren surf t-shirt. It's got some like, um, some like, uh, oh, it's on this side. Some like, where, where is it? You can see it in the light, but it's got like some like paint stains, which is a bummer, but still a cool t-shirt. It's probably one of the coolest things we found yesterday. We got the Mickey Mouse vintage mickey mouse hoodie like kind of cropped hoodie uh super sick my mick is the key like super cool dope we've got this vintage uh tank top don't normally pick this stuff up it'll probably end up in a lot or something wildlife needs to be big time oxy cleaned We've got, this one was a really cool Nautica piece, striped crew neck sweater with a dope J-Class racing embroidery right here. Really cool piece. Nautica is not what it used to be, but still pretty cool. All right, we've got another crew neck here. This is Paris Sport Club. Always pick this stuff up. Don't sell it very often, but I now have probably the best Paris Sport Club collection of all time. Uh, we've got some like, um, I think this is the mountain. But it's just a funny pug in the military uniform. Got to go to the bulk t-shirt box. Extreme. Why adopt a highway when you can own it? Don't really. It's just like a motorcycle tee to the bulk, bulk box. Not terribly old. Early 2000s. We've got the Southwest. 
Canyon, I think is what it's called. 1993 Southwest Canyon women's like Western uh, tuxedo shirt or something like that. That's pretty cool. Another, uh, this is not vintage, but Nike t-shirt goes to the bulk box. Uh, we have this vintage 70s, I think, 70s or 80s, women's Sue Sherry dress. Again, I picked those up because I can eventually sell them. And it's cool to have that kind of vintage stuff. We got that women's Sturgis tee, 2003, I think. Uh, coming down to the end of it here, more uh, bulk Nike stuff. Regger, vintage, like, geometric cardigan sweat knit sweater this is interesting we got the wb construction this is the warner brothers studio construction services tee uh it's a really fascinating t-shirt uh then we have the southern california big pipes 2003 uh t-shirt pretty cool uh, and then at the very end here the final thing i want to show you guys i picked up this like um it's just like a, I don't know, it's like a woven wool uh, belt, but it's got a really cool, I haven't taken the sticker off. Let me take the sticker off here. Uh, really cool enamel uh, deer belt buckle. Really cool, got it for a buck. Uh, don't really know what it's worth necessarily, but uh, cool stuff like this, you know, you can always get 20, 30 bucks for it. So uh, definitely a cool piece there. And that about wraps it up for this week. It was a short week, but uh, we'll be back for sure next week with some more finds, more cool finds. And uh, until then, we'll see you guys later. Peace.